Well, today's Saturday, which is my day off. So it's uh, day what? I don't know. 19? Day 19. Today's day 19. And um, I'm going to go ahead and eat some food. But this is uh, over two weeks. What about the 19 days of the juice juicing? And I'm only taking like one break day uh, a week, you know, where I cheat and eat something. But I should be losing more. I lost um, over 20 pounds so far. But I my my goal of eight pounds a week I haven't been able to reach that. Of course, I know I know that that's a big goal. Anything over five is almost impossible to reach. But not seeing the fat melt off like I thought I would. So I thought I would check it out and see why. All right. So um, let me switch over. I mean, my fitness pal, and I'm looking at my food because I tracked my all my food and. We look at trans fats, zero trans fats. Okay, so that's good. Let's look at calories, way below, way below. Like that one's 1300, but most of the time I'm, I'm, I'm low. And this is, you know, 1580 was where I set it, but really I want less than 12, but I've been only one day less than that. So calories are not the problem. Carbs. Let's look at carbs. Well, we're, we're not running that many carbs. This day we didn't have any. But it's pretty low carb. Let's look at proteins. Proteins are also low. Really low. These shouldn't be low. These should be higher, right? And um, saturated fats. Ooh, there's a problem, right? We got we're below what we what we could have, but polyunsaturated fats. That day I obviously ate something I shouldn't have. <laughs> uh, monounsaturated fats. These are good. Trans fats. We already looked at. Let's look at sugar. There's the problem, right there. Look at that. Look at the sugar content in this juice that I've been drinking. It's way up there. And it's all the fructose. And I think this is the problem, why I'm not dropping the weight like I, I thought I should. It's because the store-bought juice tend, tends to use always use um, fructose-based juices, uh, like orange and whatever, you know. Uh, so I think that this is the problem right here. This is why I'm not shredding the, the fat. I'm, I'm losing weight, yeah, but I'm not shredding the fat as much as I want. And, uh, and I'm, I, think, I think this is, I mean, problem. yesterday I went to the store and I bought a bunch of uh, fresh, fresh produce, mostly vegetables. And that's what I'll be juicing mostly this week. This is the last week of juicing. So I wanted to reach 30 pounds, but I'm obviously not going to reach 30 pounds in the, in the month. It's, it's, it'll probably be uh, between 25 and 30, but unless something really, really happens in the next eight days. I, I still got today and tomorrow, and then Wednesday is way in. So I have two days of this section, and then one more entire week, seven days, and then the juicing is ending. And I've already started making the plans. Now I'm going to use a hybrid diet for the next three weeks after that. It's a hybrid diet and it's um, high protein, low carb, low lectin. Okay, so uh, I have uh, some pictures and I will try to get them to you right now. Okay, this is what I did. I went to that site that we looked at um it's called eating beautiful okay this is what i did i went to megan stevens site eating beautiful and on one of the areas on her site there's a place where it has a shopping list of all things that are low lectin and lectin remember perforates your 
your intestines and it causes, causes gut leakage, they say. And they say the reason why this is a three week diet is it because uh, Guntry, Stephen Guntry, the doctor that's saying all this, says that within three weeks you will know. So I created a diet that I used, what I did was I went off of the, I went off the P90X diet, which is a low, low carb, high protein diet. And, um, and I augmented it and I took away anything that has, anything that has lectin in it. Uh, I think, and then also there's some stuff listed on Stephen Guntry's site that, you know, blueberries, cherries, stuff like that, uh, turmeric's in here and, uh, a bunch of stuff that's low lectin, right? So what I did was I went and I created a diet that is high protein, low carb, low lectin, and uh, and that's what we're gonna use for three weeks. And I created a shopping list right here on this side, you see? And uh, so the whole diet is is put out for the for the entire week, and for one, one whole week, and then my shopping list for that week is right here. And that's how we're gonna do it. A week from Wednesday I'll start this diet and uh, so this next week of course I'm juicing all the fresh veggies that I got to see if that changes the weight loss for the juicing because we're trying these things and we're seeing how much weight I'm gonna drop with a regimen of exercise also I'll be logging so uh, I'll be logging that I'll be moving away also when I start Switching to the diet, I'm going to move away a little bit from my fitness pal, which is a really good program. But but the uh, I'm going to be move, moving over to chronometer, chronometer, and the reason is is that you can track your your food much better. Look and see how it tracks it. It tracks it much better, and it has an area now for exercises. See, add exercise and all that. So I'll be using that. So I want to be able to track my omega-3s. I want to track all that stuff. And I did go ahead and order some Activate from Beachbody and some uh, Restore from Beachbody as well. I already got a new bag of, of the Veggie Shakeology. And that's all in preparation for the three weeks coming up. So that's what's that's what's on the plan and we're gonna be switching it over in a week from Wednesday and uh, and trying to push now this week of course like I said we're gonna be juicing trying to juice mostly natural veggies and stuff and see if that makes a difference if I can drop the eight pounds if I can drop the eight pounds in this next week because uh, this this week I don't think I'm gonna drop the full full eight. I, I'll be lucky to make the five. I don't feel like I'm dropping like I did. I the the uh, I'll be honest. The treadmill's quitting. I wasn't able to get the P90X as much as I thought I was gonna get it. And although I did do the the five mile run and stuff, but I don't think I'm gonna hit my goal of even five. I might hit four, but I'll try for five. But my goal was eight. But if I juice all the uh, all the fresh veggies instead of the stuff with a bunch of sugar that should make a difference and so we'll be doing that and then a week from Wednesday of course I start on my not this way in but the next way in I start the the new diet high protein low carb low lectin now lectin is that thing that supposedly perforates through your intestines makes gut leakage gut leakage causes all kinds of uh, slow you know makes your body work slow you have no energy because you're fighting off all that stuff so uh, I pray that Jesus that Jesus heals me if anything like that is there but we'll give it a shot you know because I've had intestinal issues for years and so anything I can do to help that is you know three weeks of my life to see what happens why not you know I'm not gonna buy his total restore product I'm just gonna eat a low lectin diet you know and, and see how that goes now some of my favorite foods are packed with lectin like tomatoes and all peppers 
it doesn't matter you know peppers are packed with lectin uh, stuff like that you know that I enjoy eating uh, I, I won't be able to eat because of the lectin content beans beans are packed won't be able to eat beans so uh, uh, zucchini squashes most squashes are packed with it so you can't eat that either eggplant which is like a staple for me for an alternative burger I just slice a piece of eggplant and use it like a burger patty inside of us inside of a sandwich and it works pretty good but I didn't know that it was full of lectin so I won't be eating that so uh, and then uh, of course last week I tried to juice the New Zealand spinach and that was just horrid it took me four days uh, I talked to the landlord here the one uh, the grower of that and he said he I think he thinks that the problem is that I juice the, the stems not to juice the stems only the leaves so I don't know I bought a pack of regular spinach I never had a problem with that so we'll see and that's what's going on so that's the Saturday I'm not gonna be working out today just to catch up on what's coming up and hey what's the goal the goal is still the same we want 200 pounds thereabouts at 8 to 10 percent body fat not less than 200 pounds 200 pounds or more at 8 to 10 percent body body fat and and a, a certain body shape too I don't I don't want gigantic quads and stuff like I did when I was in college I, I but I do want to build the rest of my body especially my core and uh, so that's where it's gonna go I've been thinking about also getting that jaw exerciser thing you know it's supposed to make your face uh, take 20 years off your face we'll see it's they want a lot of money for it though they want like 45 bucks so I don't know okay Keep strong. Fear not. You can do it. Catch you later.